Yeah, why should people be bothering with omnichannel? It's so obvious. Because every customer is omnichannel today and um, it seems as if it's sort of the more natural thing. I think we should be focused on um, you know, other things apart from omnichannel. We're already there in that world. I wonder whether you can walk us through the process of FitMatch from a shopper point of view. How does that experience come to life uh, in home, on premise? Uh, what happens after a customer has established a fit profile? It's a great question. So we have an omni-channel approach. Um, we are a middleware software that we can integrate into fitting rooms. We can integrate into apps. We can integrate into websites and provide the customer with a seamless experience of providing either a 3D measurement um, of themselves, a gyroscopic measurement of themselves, or really give uh, the ability to give the brand data on their, their body shape, um, their body measurements um, into a portal. Um, after the customer does that, FitMatch sends the customer a unique identification allowing them to log in to a personalized experience from our different brand partners. If it's in a fitting room, the experience would look um, like that retailer's experience. If it's in a, an app experience, the person might get a multi-branded um, experience to shop from. That's, uh, so th take us through, um, who have you been working with recently? Can you take us through a case study? Absolutely. So we've been doing this now for some pretty big brands and retailers. And most recently, um, we've uh, demonstrated this with Macy's. So I wanna take you through uh, a really um, relevant example that really came out of COVID. So Macy's, as one of the many apparel retailers, closed their fitting rooms most recently to deal with the different rules and regulations around the pandemic. Well, what happened was they saw this particular store in, 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 you know, relevant to this case study, they saw a dip in their customer reviews as customers wanted to buy a prom dress, as they wanted to buy certain garments, they couldn't try it on. And so customers were being um, and becoming more frustrated with the experience. So we formed a bond at the local level with the local, with the, with the sales team at Macy's and we went in there and integrated our technology into one of their fitting rooms. So this is what it looked like beforehand where customers would see this sign and, and have a you know, bunch of garments in their hand and not know what to do. But essentially, um, as COVID started to happen, you know, we started to see this emergence of real, real estate developers and retailers asking us to replicate the online experience in the four walls. So we did a partnership with Brookfield uh, you could see different um, establishments like the Washington Post coding that this is a new uh, movement. And so we knew that we could do this for someone as large as Macy's. So we went in, we did all the product integration on the back end, so the retailer doesn't have to worry about that. We do all the synchronizations, uh, all the, the matching of the product. And then we set up uh, an experience in the one of the closed fitting rooms. Uh, customers would walk in and see that same sign and have that similar frustration. And then the Macy's store associate or one of our um, staff members would educate the customer on what it means to get fitched, what it means to give over this data and in return, help them um, really shop with a, from a more personalized experience. So shoppers would come in, they would do the fitting process, which just enables them to stand uh, you know, with their feet apart. It takes about 10 seconds and then immediately we would start recommending what they should buy. Um, as you can see on the right side of the screen, setting up one of these for Macy's took about 10 to 15 minutes tops. Um, this is very mobile. It's something that can be done very quickly. And then essentially the customer gets a wealth of information, um, really avoiding the process of trying on clothes in the future. Uh, what we saw in terms of the results were just truly fascinating. Um, you know, in terms of the experience, the shoppers, as I mentioned, they get a portal to see their um, to see their avatars, see their measurements, but also to shop right on the spot and to, to find their matches. And we actually show them in 3D what some of the you know 
the, the looks, um, uh, how it would sort of fit their bodies. And so we give them a, a list of the different products and we show them the match scores for each of those products. So if you're a customer, the interesting thing about the fit match experience is that we're flipping the apparel shopping journey. We're showing people what fits first and then allowing them to pick their favorite style. So imagine that you have a hundred products. Fit match is showing you the top 25 that fit you the best and then asking you to pick your favorite styles from that truncated list. So it's really a personalized experience where Jessica's shopping experience looks nothing like Amy's shopping experience. It's almost like the Netflix of shopping where you get this sort of uh, personalized view into each brand that we have. Yeah, that's really, that's really incredible in terms of thinking about that from sort of all the various sort of angles and perspectives. Um, I, Hanif, I, 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 you, you've sort of hinted at this a little bit, but I wonder if you can talk a little bit more. Obviously, there's something quite powerful about having a customer profile um, in terms of delivering on that sort of like personalized experience. Um, but then I can imagine there's probably a lot of different ways that understanding fit or, you know, this sort of rich data about an individual has other potentials to be sort of leverage. Can you kind of talk a bit about um, that moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, when we talk to retailers and brands, we're not only talking to the product team, we're not only talking to the digital team, we're talking to the retail team, the marketing team, right? And so this has a, um, it's a multifaceted um, solution that we're offering and the best retailers understand that, right? So it's all about how can we use this across the organization? How can we use this to market to shoppers better? How can we use this to actually make better product? So it's not only about solving that pain point for that individual shopper, but you would rather just solve it season after season. You rather make better educated decisions on what to buy, what to purchase, how, how, much, how many sizes of what you really need and increasingly the changing demographic and body shape makeup of the underlying customer base. So again, this is a data company. This is a data problem to solve. We believe that there's no other um, aspect of retail that can be solved with big data other than fit. Well, it really is a data problem. And so the brands that attack this in the most powerful ways can solve product and inventory issues. They can solve marketing issues, obviously merchandising, and of most importantly, we believe the customer experience. And if a customer can get that perfect garment in 10% of the time, other than scrolling through many filters on a site or going into a fitting room and trying on something for 25 minutes, that customer is more loyal to that brand. They have a better experience and that brand is delivering on that promise. Yeah, it's really, I, I like the way that you're kind of like thinking about that. And again, I mean, there's so many, it's having that information is create so many opportunities from a business point of view.